Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I am your friendly neighborhood basement dweller, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today we're going to be checking out the Lenovo M70e. Now, this is the latest version of this Lenovo M series, more affordable. We got 12, count them, 12 cores. And, um, and there you can see we got 8 gigs RAM. And the video card that we have on this particular unit is simply the Intel Graphics uh, 630. Now we're going to try some video games on this thing, run a benchmark, see how well it can do, and see how this budget system does over time. And naturally, of course, we're going to be having a look inside to see what makes it tick. Of course, you can see we got a place there for a video card. The power supply is light on. I don't particularly like seeing light on because when I see that name, it doesn't exactly invoke confidence, but I have yet to have a light on fail on me yet. We got the CPU fan there. We actually have a DVD drive in here. It's amazing. We got one stick, eight gigs of RAM, and in here you can see where the M.2 card is. Oh, I'm dropping. You can just barely see here. We got two spots for RAM. We have a spot for an M.2. And we have... Oh, geez, that's interesting. I did not expect to see that here. Huh. I believe that's called an M SATA. And we can put a, uh, a wireless card in there. Or a uh, SSD. All right, now that we all got our tops off, let's take some time and familiarize ourselves with each other. As per the norm, we're going to be running our benchmark, past mark, benchmark 10. Oh, wow. Okay, right out the gate, Direct X 9. 22 frames per second. Not so bad. Not so bad. Next up, we got Direct X 10 working at about 7 frames per second, which is pretty good most of the time when uh, I get a budget system. Um, they only get about 3 frames per second. If we get 3 frame, frames per second, I consider that uh, to be pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Next up, we get them Space Jellies, and here's the tilt. Oh, that's actually pretty smooth. Not much uh, juddering. This is pretty good considering I don't have... Uh, I don't have a GPU in this thing. A GPU card. 16 frames per second. Next up, let's bring on DirectX 12. This thing's gotta be able to... Yeah, there we go, DirectX 12. Running at about 10 frames per second. That's what I'm talking about, ladies. That's what makes the knees weak on the ladies. Yeah, we're getting about 10 frames per second. So this thing pretty, this thing holds up pretty well, I gotta say. All right, so the end result isn't too bad. 2,000, oh, let's say about 600. This is about uh, the same speed as a Z210 i7. That's a uh, fourth generation i7 or a Lenovo Y700. Just a little bit slower, slower than a Lenovo M92P and i7-3770 with the 1030 in it, uh, GPU. So, let's try some video games now. Okay, so next up, let's try some audio games, shall we? Playing some Grand Theft Auto V here. It, uh, <laughs> the screen size is the size for ants, but plays pretty smoothly. I think this thing's definitely getting about 35 frames per second here. Doesn't look so bad. Definitely the kind of thing that uh, if you were stuck overnight at your uh, in-laws place that uh, you could get by using it. Next up we're trying Fortnite. There's a lot you can tell just by uh, how well the bus looks when you get into it. But let's drop down and see if we can find some action. Oh wow that orb is not generating very nicely. And there I go, falling off the side. Good stuff, 30 frames per second. So it definitely plays capably. Uh, this is in performance mode. This is about as good as it gets. Next up, I'm going to be throwing in the best video card I got. That's a 1030. And seeing how much that can improve our games. All right, folks, here we go. We got the 1030 installed, good to go. The bus is looking pretty good. We're flying at about 31 to 45 frames per second. We are descending at about 30 frames per second. Things are looking pretty good, I gotta say. Oh yeah, that's how it's done, ladies. Yeah. 
Oh man, Grand Theft Auto looks so much better with this card. I mean, you get the full screen, you got the full range, everything plays really smooth. I'm not seeing any jaggedness anywhere. This is definitely a, a good combination, a good reasonable combination of power and video card. I'm just, uh, I'm real pleased with this. All right, you get the DVD-ROM out of there. Take a look on the inside. Man, was I wrong. That is uh, an M.2 place. It even says right next to it, M.2. I really wish that they would strip these with the extra screws in there. I know they're standard, but I still don't have an easy way to get them. And down here, we have uh, a SanDisk uh, SSD. That is an M.2, and it's mini. It's uh, not sure exactly what the name of it is, but it's definitely a smaller size. Looks like if we want, can we can we upgrade to a bigger one? Yeah, we can definitely upgrade to a bigger one in there. And that's what we got in the system, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, folks, that's it for me. Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. As always, folks, take care of each other, will you?